an interactive segment? Well, riches on our social media handles at a KBC Channel 1 or at Jackie Umbiru. My name is Jackie Umbiru. Our sign language interpreter is Anne Wangeshi. Now, to kick us off, Kenya and Tanzania have agreed to eliminate barriers hindering the smooth flow of trade and people between the nations. The decision was arrived at Tuesday at State House Nairobi during bilateral talks led by President Uru Kenyatta and visiting Tanzanian head of state Samia Saluhu Hassan. The two agreed to have a joint team of experts to address the disjointed enforcement of cross-border COVID-19 containment protocols, one of the most pronouncement tariff trade barrier between the two nations. The airplane carrying Tanzanian President Solo Hassan touched down at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport at around 9 a.m. on Tuesday. She was received by Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Rachel Omamu and other dignitaries. Solo and Torej later proceeded to status where she was received by President Huru Kenyatta. In status, President Sulu was accorded a 21-gun salute before inspecting a guard of honor. The two leaders noted that Kenya and Tanzania need to develop modalities for mutual recognition of COVID-19 test results as lack of harmonized protocols has hampered free flow of goods and people. Mwishmua raisi nami na kubaliana nalo ni kwa maziri wetu wa afya kukaa na kuangalia kurahisisha mfumo wa kuingia na, 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 na kuchekiwa kwenye mambo haya ya ingia ya COVID au corona. Watu wetu wapate huduma za haraka kupima kuchekiwa ili waweze kupita na biashara ziendele. Kukubaliana Ya kwamba tutarienergize ili joint commission of cooperation kati ya inchi zetu mbili na mawaziri wetu wamewambiwa wahakikisha ya kwamba wanakutana mara kwa mara kuhakikisha ya kwamba wanaendelea kuzingatia usiano wetu na kuweza kutatua shida ndogo ndogo ambazo ilasumbua wana inchi wetu wakati wanafanya biashara. President Kenyatta said Kenya and Tanzania were not only geographically conjoined, but have a common culture, common language, shared heritage, and a common ancestry. The two leaders agreed to rejig their joint commission for cooperation to enable it deal with issues affecting trade, adding that the two countries had agreements on importation of natural gas from Tanzania to Kenya and another on cultural exchanges. Na tumejadiliana kuhusu masuala ushirikiano kimataifa hususan namna kujimarisha au kuimarisha jumuiya yetu Afrika Mashariki ikiwemo kuzihimiza nchi wanachama kulipa michango yake nchi ya Tanzania na nchi ya Kenya ni kitu kimoja na safari hii itaenda mbali sana kuhakikisha ya kwamba uhusiano wa nchi zetu mbili utaendelea kuimarika the Joint Commission need to ensure that investors coming from either Tanzania or Kenya do not face hurdles by ensuring a structured system is put in place to help the two countries build mutual benefit for their own people. Mbali na uwekezaji, nchi zetu mbili pia, ni wadau wakubwa wa biashara mbapo kwenye miaka mitano iliopita. Wasan wa biashara kati ya Tanzania na Kenya ni trillioni moja shilingi za kitanzania au dola za kimarekani milioni 450 ambayo bado sio kubwa na tumeweka ahadi kuikuza on the signed agreement on natural gas imports from tanzania president kenyatta say the resource will help kenya meet its growing energy demand tumekubaliana pia ya kwamba na tumeweka mkataba haswa ya mambo kuhusu eh, kujenga pipeline ya gas kutoka Dar es Salaam mpaka Mombasa na hiyo kutarahisisha bei ya stima katika nchi yetu na itasaidia pia kuhakikisha kwamba industry zetu zinaweza kupata pia e, stima na energy swala la ujenzi wa bomba la kusafirishia gesi kutoka Dar es Salaam hadi Mombasa huu ni mradi wa muda mrefu Tunashukuru leo tumeweka kidole na kilichobaki ni utekelezaji tutakwenda kusimamia. 
President Samia Sulu Hassan is on a two-day state visit to Kenya and is on Wednesday scheduled to address a joint sitting of Kenya's bicameral parliament. Tanzanian uh, President Samia Sulu Hassan's visit to Kenya is indeed significant and a sigh of relief to Kenya, particularly because it will go a long way in enhancing regional integration in trade. Timothy Kipnosu, Channel One News, State House, Nairobi.